Hey guys and girls, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're going to be looking at this beautiful bracelet. This one is stamped with Tiffany & Co. In case if you're here first time on this channel, I'm doing all kinds of reviews of jewelry and precious things. Sometimes I have some antiques, sometimes I have some of the latest jewelry. This example, but I think this is from 1995, so not, not the most recent, but still. Today's makers, although Tiffany been around for a while. Anywho, if you're interested in jewelry, if you're interested in precious metal, if you're interested in things like that, testing, experimenting, and so on subscribe give video a like and let's jump into the video so today we're looking at this beautiful bracelet this thing stamped right here it says let me just take a lens to this thing and tell you exactly what it says here so what i see there is it's saying tiffany and co copyright sign 1995 and then it has nine to five inside the oval and then it says italy so it looks like this is tiffany and co bracelet i'll just bring it up a little bit closer so you can take a look basically up close so that's how it's looking here there's only one mark so there's nothing on this side here nothing at all and then if we go over this way it looks like we have uh, it's upside down but let's just flip it over it looks like we only have one mark right here on this side you should be able to read it now right there so usually I see when it's marked Tiffany & Co, that usually there's no year, usually there's no country, at least from my experience. I, I mean, I haven't seen too many Tiffany & Co pieces to kind of tell you 100% how all of them look. But another kind of odd thing about this is that the marking is only in one place. I have several Tiffany & Co pieces, and they are marked in multiple places. This one has only one. And I looked around, I looked on the edges here, and on this side, so this is the only mark right here. Also another thing that's odd about this bracelet is that the marking is at the bottom. Usually they would place it in the middle, like here in the middle or here. I mean, I have seen this mark various sizes. I have seen it large, I have seen it small. So this one is kind of in the middle. Uh, so not in the middle, but this, it, like in terms of the size, it's kind of not too large, not too small, so kind of in the middle. So that kind of a little bit cautious. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see. So let's make a few markings. I think I'll just do one of these ends here, probably this one or this one, and we'll take Take a look at what kind of result we're gonna get. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna bring the stone up for this one. We're gonna scratch it heavily. Let's make maybe a few marks just to have consistent results. Usually I would do maybe two or three. We're gonna be using our 18 karat gold acid for this. So if this bracelet is real, mark should turn basically bright blue. And after that, it's gonna to turn to white. And then it's gonna remain white for a while. And then within a few hours, it's gonna turn purple if we were to keep it um, going. So that's the first mark right there. Nice big mark. And let's do second one maybe uh, with this side of the bracelet here. So let's just move it a little bit. We're gonna make this one um, technically just vertical so let's just do that there we go okay so this bracelet was picked up from thrift store actually when i picked it up i was thinking that this is silver i actually already have tested this and i know it's not or at least my previous tests did show that it's not but i gotta show you the result because first of all it's nice bracelet secondly it's um if it's fake it's, it's very good quality fake for sure like some other rings that i featured and even the metal look at the color of this metal it does look like silver silver could be a little bit whiter maybe a little bit but not much it's pretty good alloy in terms of the in terms of the actual quality of the mark so whoever does these fakes uh, definitely uh, hats off to them because they're really doing good work so good in terms of bad <laughs> so we have our 18 karat gold acid let's go ahead and make our marks to see what's gonna happen here first mark and second mark oh my god that thing bubbled badly so not only um, it did not turn any kind of blue it definitely bubbled super heavily so we know that that's beautiful fake so there we go that's how it looks obviously you can see it's kind of green you know all of this is green i can see on my end hopefully camera is showing that to you and you can see it well on this side it's also a little bit green and basically this whole thing is just uh, one big fake so uh, when i saw this bracelet for the price that i saw it at i probably was i don't know a couple of couple dollars or something i was like oh yeah that's a great find they're gonna take it and resell it for uh, a couple hundred dollars <laughs> uh, but unfortunately uh, this was not the 
case at all. So uh, lesson learned on my part for sure. So if you guys looking at a bracelet similar to this, please be sure to test it. Um, again, I, you know, I don't mind uh, uh, $2 loss on this one. It's not a big deal, uh, but um, uh, still keep in mind that uh, the part that's always unpleasant is that somebody else is profiting on these kind of a bracelets. And obviously that's not good at all. People should be aware of these kind of a bracelets. They should be aware that these bracelets are fake. They should be aware that these fakes exist and they should be aware that fakes are something that happens every day to everyone who's buying jewelry. It's not something that um, you um, uh, encounter uh, very rarely. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, these kind of fakes, uh, if you're visiting thrift stores, if you're visiting um, any kind of a private uh, sales on the markets anywhere, uh, you basically uh, have a chance of finding one like this literally in the matter of um, uh, your trip one the, uh, number one or trip number two to any kind of flea market, thrift store or antiques place. Um, so there's a high chance of finding this. So keep in mind that these exist. Keep in mind that, uh, you know, in terms of how they look, they basically look perfect. If you look at this thing, look at it. It's nicely polished inside. It's really well done inside. The, the mark is actually quite precise and exact. I looked at it under the microscope and magnifying glass it's 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 basically perfect and the, um, uh, the the work here is really really good as well really really good so it's all very good i would say if you're aware um, uh, you know from looking at this video of any kind of uh, off signals that that you that you see uh, on top of everything else that i said let me know because i would be definitely interested to know um, you know we all would be interested to to know the way of identifying that this is fake uh, just by looking at it instead of actually doing any kind of um, um, you know because a lot of times we cannot really do any kind of testing when we're in the store or at the flea market right there on the spot. So, so you know, we always appreciate any kind of good comments in terms of good ideas for what it is and, and, and how it looks and so on. So uh, definitely give me your feedback. Uh, I definitely would be interested to know more about this particular piece or in general, uh, Tiffany & Co. Uh, pieces. If you have any ideas in terms of what's the best way to identify them, um, you know, please let me know. Of course, we all should go to Tiffany and call and buy uh, from them directly and pay um, their prices for the quality and so on. But unfortunately, not all of us able to do that. And you know, uh, when people thrifting, they're not looking to pay the highest price possible. So there we go. This will be the end of the video. As always, subscribe, like the video, comment, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this is helpful at all. If it's not, tell me why it's not helpful. If it is, tell me why it's uh, helpful for you. Um, anyway, have a good day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.